Hi everyone! This is Mandy from Sweet Dog Recipes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a perfect egg roll wrapper. First, dissolve half teaspoon of salt into 7 ounces of hot water. As hot as possible. Pour it into 12 ounces of all-purpose flour in batches. In the same time, use chopsticks to stir it. By adding hot water, you will denature the proteins. So when you fry the egg rolls, the number of bubbles on the surface of the egg roll sheet will be less, which I think that is a sign of crispy skin. It is very soft, so it should be easy to form together. Cover it with plastic film and then let it sit for 30 minutes. This is 30 minutes later, knead it again for about 6 minutes until smooth. Cut it in half so it is not too big to work with. Then roll this in a long even strip. Cut it into small even pieces of dough. Each of them weighed about 0.7 ounces. Use a scale if needed. Sprinkle some flour so they don't stick to each other. Flatten them with your hand one by one. Cover the rest with a plastic film while you're working with one small piece of dough. Roll this like the way how you roll a dumpling wrapper. Once you get two pieces like that, try to make them into almost the same size. Brush one piece with some oil. Any type of oil should work just fine here. Apply it evenly. Cover it with the other piece. Make sure they match each other. Flip it over and make sure the other side is matched exactly or else it will be a huge difference in shape after you roll it. Do your best to get it as thin as possible. This is important because the thinner it is, the crispier your egg roll will be. If it's too thick, then your egg roll will be doughy. Feel free to sprinkle some flour to prevent sticky. Once you get it about 9 inches across, Cook it immediately. Do not make a lot and pile them together or else they will stick to each other. Turn the heat to medium and place the wrapper in. It will just take about 20 seconds to see some big bubbles appear. Give it a flip. Let the other side cook for 10 seconds. Take it out and separate them slowly. It is totally okay if it breaks a little bit. Now you have two pieces of egg roll wrapper. Cover it with a slightly damp towel and continue doing the rest. Even though I think it is a good experience to make your own egg roll cheese, it is too much work. I make this recipe for those who cannot find egg roll cheese easily. If you do have access to it, buy it from the supermarket because, you know, save time. Now I got about 30 pieces of egg roll wrapper. I am trimming off the edge and make them into square shape so they are the same size and my egg roll will turn out the same size too. This is about 6.5 inches. It is okay if you want to make a bigger size. I like it to be smaller size is because I think one or two bite size egg rolls are perfect. You can double or triple the recipes and make a lot at a time. Put them in a sealable bag and freeze it. 
Just defrost them whenever you want to use them again. I am just doing a frying test to show you how amazing these egg rolls sheets are. You see the surface is so flat and not that many bubbles. That is what we want. And the sound would tell you everything. They're so nice and crispy. These wrappers are more than egg roll sheets. You can use them to wrap any vegetables, meat if you like. Also, this is kicking duck wrappers. You know how they serve this on the side of the duck? It's that classic. <laughs> I will share picking roast duck recipe in the future, but not today because I'm still trying to perfect my recipe. Anyway, Make sure you watch my next video because I'm going to use this to make some egg rolls. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, please. If you like Chinese food, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any episode. If you want to learn more about me or support me, check out my Patreon link right there. And... I'll see you next time. Bye.